Okay, so today we're going to take a look at these two software. Uh, this is, uh, well, boost speed. It's more of a uh, defragmenter for hard drive. And the other software is going to be a SSD kind of speed up thingy. So we'll see what they do. And uh, yes, the company sent me the keys for them both. But there is no money exchanged here. And they have zero input on how I do the video or what I do with the video. So let's go with the SSD optimizer first. And let's see what it does. Let's uh, let's check it. That's all we can do, right? And we have two SSDs here. But I'm going to exclude the C. And we're going to go with the uh, Samsung 500 gigs and see what it does. It says health 96%. And uh, let's see when we hit optimize. Wipe free space. We're on disk cleanup and optimize. And we're going to hit optimize. And looks like it actually finished really quick. So what are these uh, blocks? Unmovable files. There are 18 files in this block. And if I click, these are just... Uh... Oh, so these are just simple... Uh virtual machine file nothing to be worried about is this here one file zero fragmented in this block and if i click to view file it's another uh, virtual machine so i know what those are and i'm not worried about them so it looks like the optimization with this one just click this one and we're gonna go right here let me click this on and see what uh what happened? 55% maintenance optimization. System is 100% optimized for SSD. Drive usage chart for C and D. That are going to be our SSD. And it says up to 400 whatever because it's not using that much right now and we have the stats right here so we are doing this one here we have one terabyte so everything looks good Let's see disk explorer what that has in store for it we're gonna keep it with this one only right here we're gonna hit scan and it just giving us which folders are the highest and all that above you can see how much space files and folders take up on your disk drives and other related information delete or move large files and folder as desired i don't really need to remove them because these are virtual machines that i use sometimes so that is fine it's cool actually that you can uh check what folders are the biggest almost like if you're in a phone that's uh that's cool store and uh, what else we have? algorithm setting okay so use trim feature trim is a command that tells the ssd drive that certain data blocks are no longer used and may be cleared the trim feature is specially designed to maintain ssd drive performance at the highest i'm gonna click trim you can optimize the uh, system files, optimize active user folder, optimize registry files. Yes, I'm going to do all files as they recommend. And yes, temporary files. I don't really, I don't really need them. Browser, I'm going to leave alone. Recycle bin, clear windows update cache. Yes, absolutely. And permanently delete. Yes, I don't want them to go to recycle bin erase file entries if you select this option names so of all previously deleted files will be cleared from the file system table yeah we're good on that and select this option to wipe the area between the end of a file and the last cluster used by that file this area may be occasionally contain parts of deleted files i'm gonna leave that just in case for uh recovery you know and this protection if a drive temperature exceeds the value specified in fahrenheit or x amount the current operation will be paused or stopped depending on your choice below for the dry well i'm gonna leave that part alone so here we have this click okay and now it will keep doing that uh optimization on the background the, what we selected here we can ignore list fahrenheit yes you can switch that to south optimizer is this one right here that will show us what we have default style yes or you can do it with bars i like the cube style this was the algorithm and you can schedule uh for optimization when pc is an idle for 15 minutes it kicks in to do the optimization automatically and for here we can just change the language to whatever you want it has uh, german english spanish french italian japanese portuguese and russian and 
and that is that is it on this part there's really nothing else uh, here and these are uh suggestions clean up your drive and all that so you can go get the other software we're not gonna do it right now you can uh, ask questions here if you need to and you can check what's going on with your drive i guess and what are the latest questions this explorer we check and basically that's it it's kind of a maintainer of uh your ssd drive so and we have some settings that's actually we just did so we are good on that this is a flash drive i'm not gonna touch that and uh, this is data read 1.1 gigabytes today and read 1.1 so you can have all the stats of what went on with your drive and all that i like that actually so you can go back and see kind of a chronological view of what has happened with your uh drive on that particular day i barely use the hard drive and this is my main drive and this one yes there's a lot of usage but i did not do more than that we have an error rate written right here and and besides that, there's not much else. You have the reports here that you can check what's going on with your CPU network. It's kind of like going to a task manager and you can do driver update. If you click here, it will suggest you another software. I'm not going to install it here because we are not here for this one. And you can create an SSD optimizer, well, uh, optimizer portable version. So you, if you have a USB connected, I'm not going to connect it right now, but you can have a portable version of it. And besides that, there's not much else to actually talk about. And yes, I can optimize the uh, local disk as well, even though I said I'm not going to do it, but I'm just going to see what it does because this one has a lot of uh, system files and uh, it's deleted temporary files and it should delete now uh, update files and all that that we don't need or what we actually selected to do before as we see we have here everything is passes temperature 113 health good this is the model estimated lifetime 10 plus year that's actually good volume info is just the drive type and stuff general is what's happening right now and if you click more data it just takes you right here that you can check capacity and all that good stuff this is really cool actually i gotta say so we'll uh, let this one delete temporary files files and all that uh, kind of garbage that we don't really need as you see filmora media library has created so many files that are completely useless in the cache but i'm gonna get rid of them because i don't need them and uh we'll get right back when all this is uh said and done files okay so it's almost done and well looks like it's done actually so it optimized the uh, 680 files and fragment uh 2119 and it deleted a lot of weird stuff that filmora has generated this of course if filmora doesn't do that it's not a good day and uh, this is the optimization report so free space 1.6 cluster sectors this is just a uh, okay lapse time 15 minutes not optimal file 691 relocated file 681 skip files 12 fragmentation before and after so that is uh, that is good enough for me got rid of some cache weird files and looks like it cleaned a lot so these are sectors optimized and these are unmovable files well we can move them but not right now because these are page files that we need for the system to operate and besides that there's not much else to talk about uh, the ssd optimizer it kind of keeps your ssd under check and everything should work as intended so now let's go to uh disk defragment now this is for the uh hard drive and of course it has selected the hard drive the only hard drive we have connected right now automatically and uh we're gonna hit defrag and optimize and see what it does looks like it's going pretty fast there's some files on it but i don't know how it's gonna go well this might take a while because uh there's a lot of games on and uh yeah there's forza horizon gta blur and all that stuff so there's a lot of uh clusters to go through so we'll get right back when uh this process is done and then we will go through the other stuff the hdd optimization too so let's uh let's let this one finish first okay and the defragmentation 
has finished. Well, it took a while for this one. It's a two terabyte and it has a lot of uh, games and systems and all that. That's why this one took so long. Well, in fact, it took 10 hours and 47 minutes to defrag this drive. I haven't done it in a long time because I really don't use this drive that much. Probably, as you know, I'm not that much of a gamer but this uh is actually beneficial for your drive i know a lot of people will say oh no windows and all that no 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 windows doesn't take care of nothing just you have to put that on the afterburner you have to defrag your own hard drive and i mean only spinning mechanical hard drives only do not do this on ssds or m.2s they do not need this and actually it can do more harm than good to them because it will go through a lot of cycles for absolutely no reason those don't need any of this but hard drives yes because now all this stuff here that you see that's empty space this was scattered all throughout the drive and when you put something new on it or transfer something new or install something new instead of the drive having the empty space here now all in one section to put it on it had to go through all this stuff and try to find space and try to find with whatever is in that space so instead now it has all this space here everything is put in a normal order so that means, for example, you have pictures and uh, videos and games and whatnot. They're all put almost in categories. So what this one does, it kind of reorganizes the files and the file system on your hard drive. So that makes it faster for you to read it, makes it faster to write on it, and it keeps your hard drive in a healthier st uh, stage. In my opinion, if you think that hard drives don't need to be defragged and optimized you're absolutely wrong and whoever tells you that oh you no longer need to defragment and optimize hard drives they are one million percent wrong all mechanical hard drives need defragmentation and optimization it is just a physical thing with them it's not like ssds and M.2s, which are both respectively SSDs, those don't need it because the CPU can basically access data anytime, anywhere it wants. But with spinning drives, that is not easy. The needle that reads the drive and all that has to go section to section to find that data, to write that data, to read that data. And as you see, it makes it more complex. So when you defragment, and optimize it puts all the data like you see here in a normal order so it makes things much easier for your computer to read it and easier for the needle to just fly through where it needs so it doesn't need to go at the very bottom then come back to the top and do this back and forth a million times for absolutely no reason so in my opinion whether you use house logic or you use something else to defragment your hard drives, I highly suggest you simply use it. Defragment them. Now there's an offline defragmentation that you can uh, enable once during the next boot or every boot. Now I do not suggest every boot. It just, uh, it's, you don't need that. But if you want to do this process that it took me 10 hours to do here, next boot, you just click this here and I would click all of these. To make sure that it goes through everything and you click once do next boot but still highly suggest go to the list devices go to the hard drive not the ssds as you see i'm not touching them only the mechanical hard drive and click defrag and optimize right here and let it do its thing now what else we have here we have the hdd or hard drive optimization you can click to enable it but it already did that while we did this uh, right here, defrag and optimize. That's why it's not reacting to anything here. And you can go, of course, to the advanced settings and you can enable and disable options that you have stuff on it. I already have this all the right cache and uh, read cache and all that stuff are all up and running is I wanted to go through everything. And besides that, there is not much else that I can tell you about here. 
you can check all the data for your uh, drive let me just open it like this and you have the rest of the information right here if you go to your uh, smart table you will uh, check raw read error rate and all that and it uh, tells you if the values are normal or not and if there's a problem it will actually give you right here that it needs attention or what's going on or all that head flying hours we have 2900 head flying hours right here on this drive so and the value is okay here because there's no threshold on this one you have lbs uh lbas written or read and it shows you how many which this is good because they're both balanced that's good and besides that of course this is your temperature for the drive health now is good and everything else is just normal data that you can go in more depth if you want to to read the headers and all that drive type and all that you have the games and forza horizon and all that stuff that it went through that's why it took that long and look how nice and neat everything is put together now boom just like that i love seeing this one so your hard drive doesn't need to play minesweeper next time it has this empty space right here that it knows it's empty and it doesn't need to think twice about it instead of having it scattered all over and has of having to play bricks all over so without talking too much i will leave links down in the description for both these softwares again these softwares were provided to me by Auslogix. They provided me licenses for these two software. And they told me to say whatever I want, however I see it, however I do it for myself without a script and without a predetermined outcome or anything else. So all opinions and all views and all tests right here were 100% mine with zero input from Auslogix. And in my opinion, their software yes it actually rocks especially the hard drive oh yeah because it does all those options for you without you having to do too much and of course you can see the reports here what's going on this is actually really cool if you're a doctor it might trigger you a little bit but it's okay <laughs> it's made for us not the very smart ones <laughs> anyway you can click update drivers and it will take you to download a driver updater but that is fine I, I, you can get it if you want to here you have other software that they actually sell and that is up to you i cannot push any of that not my job and here you have analyze selected defrag and optimize selected well use once a week that's what we just did today this is for a qu quicker one drag defrag selected without analyzing i do not suggest doing it without analyzing because you want the software to analyze all those spaces all the sectors all the headers to analyze everything and put everything in order how it's supposed to you can defrag a file or a folder or wipe the free space on selected it already did that when it did the optimization so there's no need to be too redundant with that and defrag priority I just put it in normal you don't need to do anything else cluster maps it'll just load just in a second and here are your cluster maps that i showed you before the other one it just kind of tells you col the color scheme of what it does and how it does it and besides that we have uh, nothing else the settings are just the normal settings how do you do the integration is your default you can use uh this disk defragmentation as your uh, default besides that of course you can do the manual one but it doesn't do all the data that we're talking about here as the software does you can do the manual one that we always used to do uh where is that uh, uh tools here that you can do optimize but in my opinion uh auslogic defragger does it way better because it does a real thorough analysis of the drive and makes the adjustments that are needed to be exactly on that drive with a file system you have and with that said again we will see you next time please like and subscribe and uh, you'll find the links down below i am not affiliated with those links so whether you download and buy it or not i do not make any penny more or less than i'm making so that's it we'll see you next time bye